Hi, my question is, um, as a successful British economics and politics commentator, what advice would you give to someone who is looking to create a social media platform to inform working class individuals and simultaneously reach those in positions of power of the needed economic or environmental transformations? Yeah, so um, this is a, a tough question because a lot of what's happened to me over the past two years has kind of seemed like a bit of a whirlwind and often I'm not really sure what I've done to kind of get to where I am. But I'll do my best to answer um, to answer the question. I think, you know, the, the most important thing, and this is going to sound annoying because it's not something that's easy to just do, I would say the most important thing is to just know what you have to say. Know what your contribution is, how it's original um, and how it differs from you know the like morass of other voices that are going to be talking about the subjects that you want to talk about um, and so I think that means having a clear uh, narrative and a clear story but I also think it means having a clear kind of um, ideology and values and set of values a lot of the time we're told you know the only way to kind of um, engage in a discussion about political science, social science, economics, whatever, is to do so in a very practical, value neutral way that, um, you know, pretends basically that you're completely objective. But I think a lot of people do that and are then surprised that no one's listening to them, right? Because actually that isn't the way that the world works. It's how it's taught the world works often at university, but when you go out into the real world, people are making decisions based on their values, um, their you know, beliefs, ideologies, frameworks, stories, etc. I think it's really important to have a clear sense of where you're coming from ideologically and in terms of, you know, all those other, all those other factors. And then beyond that, in, in a more practical sense, the thing that really kind of allowed me to, to project my voice was firstly um, writing. So I initially just started a blog, uh, just writing about kind of economics and politics and just shared that around various different people. And what I found really useful actually is to, as a way of projecting your voice and projecting your work, is to have a, a set a list, to make a list of people every time you write something that you put online that you want to send it to. And to break that down into, I often did um, 10 um, thought leaders, so 10 people who are influential in their field, 10 people who were decision makers, so whether that's in politics, in business or whatever, and 10 peers, so friends, you know, colleagues, people you think would be interested in, in hearing your work, and just send that to them saying, hey, I've just written this piece, interested to hear your thoughts if you want to share it whatever and the other thing obviously that I've I've done a lot of which has really allowed me to project my voice has been broadcast media so radio and, and tv and the way that I did that in the UK was that I um, did a media training course with the new economic organizers network NEON and they trained me and then helped me to um to go out into the media and I think they might be looking at expanding into the US but I'm not 100% sure but I would look up you know, potentially media training programs for progressive voices as well, if that's something that you're interested in doing. Great, thanks so much. I, I would just add that, um, I, I don't know if you remember, uh, Grace, but I think it was in 2018, we sort of walked by each other at, an, at a Positive Money event when you were talking next to Steve Keen. And yeah. I think you had about 3,000 Twitter followers then. Yeah, that's so funny. And, and, have, ma and have managed to add 100,000 in the last two years. So whatever you're doing is working. <laughs>